Hi everyone and welcome to Youth Group. We are counting down the days to Christmas and you guys, we are only 10 days away. I am guessing that some of you have already started making your Christmas wish list. Maybe some of you want some new clothes or a new puppy or you're really hoping that that new PS5 is going to be waiting for you underneath the tree on Christmas morning. I'm not really sure exactly what things that you've got on your Christmas wish list, but I know you guys have been thinking about it. Now, as I've been making my Christmas wish list, I've noticed that some staple Christmas gifts are crazy expensive. So we're going to play a game called One Versus A Thousand. We have broken down the cost of common Christmas items to discover how much 1,000 of that item would cost. We're going to compare that to other popular items on many people's Christmas lists. And you guys have to figure out which costs more, 1,000 of one item or just one of another. no idea that reindeer rentals were even a thing, much less that they would be so expensive. Now, I know we just talked about our Christmas wish lists and some people might think of this time of year as a time to worry about getting lots of toys and games and electronics and lots of new stuff. Now, I know that none of you guys are thinking that way, but some people do. However, a wise man once said, it is better to give than to receive. You know, the best kinds of gifts are the ones you really think about before you get them for someone. Not just the, hey, I'll throw in a gift card kind of gift, but a thoughtful, specific, oh my goodness, how did you know kind of gift. Those kinds of gifts are way better. Have you ever gotten something as a gift that you really, really wanted? How about the other way around? Have you ever given someone a gift that they really, really wanted? How about this though? Have you ever given someone a gift, but you weren't really sure if they liked it? It's hard to get something you're not really thrilled with as much as it is difficult to see someone not like a gift you thought they would love. If you haven't figured it out yet, today really is all about giving. It is the perfect time of year to talk about it too. God gave us Jesus, the greatest gift in the history of everything. And a lot of people were pretty excited that the Savior had finally come. The big question is this. Even if you received everything you ever wanted for Christmas, 
how can you still focus on the best gift, Jesus? Pretty good question, huh? And the answers can be found in Luke chapter 2. So with that, it's Bible story time with Kelly. So let's take a look at the book of Luke and the unexpected surprise that God gave to the world. Lights? It happened like this. Caesar Augustus made a law, a decree, a census would be taken, which meant everyone in the Roman world would be counted. Hear ye, hear ye. I, Caesar, declare, no, I decree, everyone in the Roman world is to be counted. You must return to your hometown to be listed, and so it has been said, and so it will be so. Joseph was engaged to Mary, who was pregnant and about to give birth. When he heard the emperor's decree, he knew he had to travel to his hometown. And so Joseph and Mary began their journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, the town of David. The journey probably took them several days. So think about that next time you want to complain about driving a few hours to visit your grandparents. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, there was no place for them to stay. Hey, we need a place to stay for the night. Sorry, guest rooms are all full. Please, Mary is about to have a baby. Is it there anything you can do? Not unless you want to sleep over there. We'll take it. So Mary and Joseph stayed near the animals, in a cave or a stable of some kind. While they were there, Mary gave birth to a baby boy. There was no bed, so Mary wrapped the baby in large strips of cloth and placed him in the manger. The manger was a feeding trough for animals. The baby, of course, would be called Jesus, and he was the Son of God, and he would one day become the Savior of the world, a very humble and unexpected gift on that first Christmas, the best present any of us could ever ask for. And that is the Christmas story. Wow. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> right? I love this story. There's so much going on at Christmas, getting gifts and going to parties, seeing family and friends, Christmas movies, all the really good things. But the Christmas story reminds us that God loves us so much that he sent his son for us. And that's what Christmas is all about. Think about what Mary gave. Think about what she gave up. She and Joseph were entrusted with basically raising God as a person. She gave up what she wanted. Both of them did. They gave up their plans and trusted God's plan. They trusted God's plan no matter what. There are times when we have our own plans, our own wants, and our own desires. But sometimes God changes those plans. In those moments, do we trust Him? Do we trust that God's plan is a good one? The good news is that yes, yes, you can trust God. The fact that Jesus was even born at all is proof that we can trust God no matter what. God said that he would send us a savior and he sent Jesus. God showed us how much he loves us by sending us his only son. God sent Jesus for you. God sent Jesus for you before you were even here. That's how big God's love is. God said he'd do it and he did. I'd say that is pretty trustworthy. That means everything else God says in his word can be trusted. All of the promises of living life to the fullest, of God being with you always, of working for good in all things, of going to heaven, all of it. You can trust God in all of it. This Christmas, as you celebrate Take a moment to realize just how much God loves you. Take your focus off your plans and place it squarely on his just for a bit. 
it can be pretty difficult in the moment when things change to give up what we thought and trust God's plans. This week, I want you to think about this question. What are you giving this Christmas? Or maybe more to the point, what are you giving up this Christmas? Mary gave up an ordinary, predictable life and gave everything of herself to have Jesus as her son. Maybe God is asking us to give something really big this year too.